Hello, this is Allie, Twitch superstar. Just to say, Commodore Ty has all your nerdy news in the world of pop culture. Come and boldly go where no man has gone before. Incoming message from Commodore Ty. Hello, your Commodore here, Ty Coles. Let's take a look at this new trailer that dropped last week. Venom, let there be carnage. And it looks like crap. I'm sorry, we start off with a beautiful establishing shot of the city, but then we cut into the odd couple. I say either, you I say either, I say neither, and I say neither. Like, it's more comedy than creepy. Like, Venom is supposed to be this dark anti-hero that's supposed to scare you. And they have him making breakfast for Eddie. The whole thing off. Catch up! Excuse me? And it's more, they're making them more of a comedy duo than a, a, a threatening duo. And they increase it by including the shopkeeper saying hello to both of them. Good evening, Eddie. Hey, Mrs. Chen. Good evening, Venom. Mark some hi, Mrs. Chen. He says hi. Where's the darkness? Where's the threatening presence of Venom that was in the first movie? I don't want a comedy. I want a dark, anti-hero, threatening, badass symbiote. That's good, but not in a good way. I love uh, Woody Harrelson's character. You get to see him, and it looks like he's being go getting ready for execution. A long time. Miss you so much. But something with him and Eddie, there's a, but the trailer doesn't go into it. It just looks like Eddie is investigating something that he did, which may or may not get him out of prison. Is the number that you'll ever do. I've been thinking about you, Eddie. But they carry on with the execution, and that's where the carnage symbiote takes over preventing him from being killed, and we get our first look at the Carnage symbiote. Soon come chaos. I like the way it looks, and it, as its namesake says, causes carnage throughout that prison. Chaos. Soon come. We get some interesting action scenes with Venom, but not much. Every decision we ever made. Eddie Brock's obsession with Carnage, Woody Harrelson's character, might lead to a more downward spiral for him in his uh, personal life. Who do we leave behind? And then we get this random shot of this one woman that waiting in the darkness. It's just there she's just there and it looks like she's in like a maximum security isolation prison so it's interesting to see where that goes but i would like some more background information about that so overall uh, the trailer had some good but it was mostly garbage so instead of a terrifying badass symbiote instead you get this carefree character that cares more about chocolate the chocolate delivery hasn't arrived yet. No! We had a deal. What's gonna happen? You gonna stop protecting me? I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen! No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? Nothing. But I'm hoping the movie's good. 
uh, Woody Harrelson looks phenomenal as Carnage in it, just based off the trailer and and based off the uh, extra scene from the first Venom movie. But they're just missing that darkness that the first one had. I'm hoping the movie turns out good because I am looking forward to it because I did enjoy the first one. But for now, I'm disappointed and I didn't like it. So for your Commodore Ty Coles, live long and prosper. Hailing frequencies closed. Thank you for watching the video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, watch one of my many other videos, and if you like what you see, you can support the channel by donating to my PayPal. So, for Commodore Tribe, live long and prosper all, and for now, until next time, the hail and frequencies are closed.